Hey, it's Janine Driver from JanineDriver.com. As I'm trying to zoom in there. There we go. And this is to my class on seven levels of reading and influencing human behavior. I have had, if you are not already enrolled in this class, it's 88% off right now because of COVID-19. And I will tell you a little bit at the end of our video how you can still register for class. We are on level two of the seven levels of reading influ in influencing human behavior. However, the content from level one is in our VIP portal that you'll get a password to. So you'll still have access to everything the people are, who made the class last week have already received. I've had six people sign up today, so it's not too late. All right, I'll tell you more about that later. People already enrolled in class. There's so much content that I've had to change things up a bit. When you go to janinedriver.com, you're going to hit more. Now, when you get over here, there's the shop for the people who are want to add into class, okay? But you're gonna come down here. Instead of just one page, you now have each step. As I add the additional steps all the way to seven, there'll be another VIP step two, step three, step four, step five. So here's step one for cognition for last week. I've added additional content here. So check it out. There's some experiments you could do with yourself or with your, with your kids if your kids are at home that are going to blow your mind, how our body and mind interact with one another. I'll also be adding the video footage from our interview last week, our live interview with Dr. Lisa Genova, the author of the book Still Alice that was turned into that awesome movie by the same name. And Julia, Julianne Moore won her Oscar. And then step, and then Dr. Conte as well, Dr. Christian Conte, who goes in and works with violent offenders in jails. Ugh, weren't they both awesome? All right, so those will be uploaded, if not tonight, tomorrow. I'm breaking them into smaller um, video clips. Now, step two is ready for you. You'll get your workbook tomorrow here, and then class will be again on Thursday, 5 p.m. East Live with me and our special VIP guest I'll introduce you to in a second. So here we go. Step two is emotion. When you're going, when you click in step two, I'm going to give you a little preview of what you're going to see. Okay, let me get to the top here. If you are on a cell phone, it's going to look like on what you're seeing here on the right of my screen. Okay, reading and influencing human behavior. Step two, emotion, and you'll you can just watch it all here. There's our special guest, but I'm gonna show you from the big screen. If you're on your computer or tablet, it looks like this. Here we go. That's right, our guest this week, Dr. David Matsumoto, Human Tell. He has some online training too, which is really cool on spotting the seven universal emotions. He's just the coolest guy, man. I'm so excited. I've never talked to him live. I've only emailed with him. He's friends with my mentor, JJ Newberry, who's considered the human lie detector. Uh, literally, he's called what's called a truth wizard. And I just love JJ so much. And so they're good friends. Dr. David Matsumoto used to work with Dr. Paul Ekman on with regard to these micro expressions and these emotions. What I especially love with Dr. David Matsumoto is that he went to the Olympics, the Special Olympics, and he discovered something fascinating, Dr. Matsumoto, about sighted athletes and blind athletes. And he's going to share with us his research. And we're going to ask him anything we want. Now, this is going to be recorded tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Echo, what's today's date? So today's Tuesday, the 21st of April of 2020. So this will be recorded tomorrow, the 22nd of April, Wednesday, uh, at 5 p.m. East Coast time. If anyone's interested in being a piece on that call, please let me know. Put a private message either below here on YouTube or send me a private message through janinedriver.com or janine at janinedriver.com. All right, so Dr. David Matsumoto, I'm so excited he's coming. Oh my gosh, this guy is the coolest guy ever. I just He's likable, he knows his stuff, and he talks in a way that we can actually get it. When you're here on the site, I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek for those already enrolled in the class. Um, can music really increase happiness and decrease your stress? Uh, this is a cool study that was done. Darwin, Darwin saying he loves you. Darwin's emotional experiment. This was done by the university. I mean, this was done by Darwin in the 1800s in the University of Cambridge has allowed us to take this test, this experiment that was given in the 1800s. I'm interested how you do. And then over here, emotional exhaustion. What is it? How to treat it? 
Okay, what causes it? And then some of my favorite videos on emotions. So this week, oh, remember this guy. Okay, so this week out of the seven levels in reading influencing human behavior, we are on emotion. Seven universal emotions we'll be talking about. We'll be talking about emotional intelligence. I'm so excited to dive in here. This is one of my favorites, I would say. We're going to talk about universal emotions from around the world since right now we're so connected more than ever with this coronavirus affecting planet Earth. Last week we did cognition, how the brain and body work together, and we had this awesome guest. They killed it, right? Next week, deception. Oh my gosh, wait till you see who I have next week. And then after that, secrets on innovation secrets on how to persuade people. Some tried and true and some new stuff. All right, if you are interested in signing up for the seven levels of reading and influencing human behavior, this is level number two. Let me get over here, by the way. Let me show level number one what's hiding out over there. Stand by. If you hear some snoring, my 14-year-old is sleeping on my shoulder to the left of me. And that's what it is. You're hearing his snoring. That's what happens when you do a live. Here's cognition. All right, stand by. All right, here's what you'll see in cognition. Um, adventure awaits. This is your, your welcome to class. This was my welcome video I did a week ago, introducing the seven levels. Uh, this here, oh, this is this comes with a workbook. So each week you get a new part of the workbook. So right here is the new competitive advantage system, seven levels of reading, influencing human behavior, inspiring coaches, sales teams, and leaders to look at the world in a different way. Reading and influencing human behavior, level one, cognition. So 5 to 6 p.m. every week, we get a Zoom link. And this is the PDF for level one on cognition. It's really cool. You can download it right here and click it and print it, which I recommend because I have a note-taking section. Or you can just click here and go online. And hold on, it's hard to click it while holding this camera. And then you can walk through the content that way. Okay. Uh, these were our guests last week, which their videos will be posted here. Dr. Lisa Genova, right here to the left of the screen. Lisa and I went to high school together, Waltham High School. She wrote the book Still Alice. She's a neuroscientist, graduated from Harvard with her PhD. And uh, she wrote the book Still Alice, wrote several other books, a couple more being turned into movies. She's just amazing. Uh, Still Alice was performed by Ju um, Julianne Moore. She won an Oscar. If you look, these are some celebs you may recognize. There's Kristen Stewart next to Lisa. And then Dr. Christian Conti, who is just amazing. He works with prison inmates. He's one of the country's most accomplished and coolest mental health specialists in the field of anger and emotional management. He's also an author and, and a TV guy. So I met him on a TV show once before. We were both guests on his TV show. There's Lisa's super famous TED Talk. I think it's been watched by 5 million people. And some more really cool information. This is uh, my friend Christian Conte, Dr. Conte. I love this. Look, resolve conflict peacefully. Oh, gotta love this man. Other fun stuff for the people already in the class if you're still watching. Um, uh, these are some new experiments I put on. Fun experiment you can do it yourself and your kids. This is amazing how our brain and bodies can play tricks on us and how it gets us in trouble when interacting with people. And right here, rest for success, this research done by Harvard. This is fascinating, the power of just doodling or resting, why we need to work that part of our brain as well. We're so busy doing all these brain exercises, but what about focusing on unfocusing? That's cool. And then over here, 75 years of a study on how to be successful and you can watch a cool video on how to produce productivity like Richard Branson. All right, so, and then some seven psychological experiments to challenge your brain. And then this is the content we already did last week. Anyway, my name's Janine Driver. If you're interested in signing up for the program and have not already done so, go visit janinedriver.com. And when you click there, you're going to go once again over to shop from the shop. It's super simple, right here, live with Janine, seven-week class. You want to take this one, it's 88% off, $349.93. And this is the group that already started, but you'll get a 
password to get content on our private portal. This one is for coaches, athletic coaches only. It has not started yet. If you're gonna do group two with the general public right here, then that's gonna double. So if I were you, I'd sign up for this and just get the content online. All right, that's it. My name's Janine Driver. I'll see you in class. This is Janine at janinedriver.com.